International Women's Day 2024. <laughs> so this year to celebrate, we thought we'd have a little chat, one of our chatty vlogs, um, just looking at different time periods and what sewing meant to women, how sewing relates to women at different time periods. Um, we just thought it's such an interesting um, subject. There mm. is so much information out there in yeah. terms of like historical um, facts and things like that. There's lots of articles, essays, there's videos. I watched a whole little documentary on the history of the sewing machine the other day. Very delightful. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of information. There's lots of topics that we thought we'd just chat about a little bit and then if you're interested you can maybe continue your own research. That's that same, yeah. Happen? I think because we are by no means experts. No. <laughs> I would say we are beginners. We are, <laughs> I we would are, say we are passionate learning. enthusiasts. Yes. So we're very interested in all these subjects and um, yeah this is just a way to kind of dip our toes yeah. in yeah. and hopefully give you an, uh, some ideas of like what because sometimes I think you just pick up a hobby and you don't really think about how the hobby came to be in a way yeah. <laughs> so it's interesting to have a look back so on that note um, I had a look at the very first uh, domestic sewing machines I thought that's when it you know it's not a job it becomes something mm. else and um, I had a look at uh, the Singer Company in the States and um, I, it was fascinating, honestly, there is so much material out there but I found um, quite a few articles and it, what, was, what really fascinated me was that um, the company, the Singer Company, which they still exist I think, yeah, I've got a singer, somehow, <laughs> I've ended up with a singer. How old are they as a company? So, like 1850s. 1850s, so we're talking way back. And they're an American company, so I'm uh, yes. completely... Yeah, yeah no, 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 so singer, Mr. Singer, Isaac Singer, was um, um, born of, like, I think a German immigrant father and an American mother, so he was born in the States. And um, yeah, he, there was a whole, this is a whole other chapter, but look up yeah. Sewing Machine <laughs> War. Because, oh, uh, I know, that, that, that sounds like a Channel 4 documentary that it I really want to watch. <laughs> it should be. So everyone was trying to create the perfect sewing machine and they kept stealing um, ideas Aye. from each other and all these companies. There was a proper war and people were suing each other constantly. What? It was Aye. amazing. Like, it's really, really interesting. Not what yeah, we're talking right. about Next today, week. but look at that. <laughs> Look it up. But Singer basically kind of won that war because mm. he was, or you know, the people who worked for him, there was a very clever um, lawyer called Clark. That um, basically. Clark is no. no. <laughs> <laughs> different. Different. <laughs> Sorry. But um, they specifically marketed the sewing machine as a home object for the first time. So other companies were selling it to dressmakers, studios and things like that. And that's a very small portion of society. Whereas the singers <laughs> were like, well, Let's if we can get this in home. every home, that would be ideal. And um, so something very interesting is that the um, sewing machine was the first machine that entered the home. So there was obviously everything to do with cooking and cleaning yeah. didn't white exist. Goods. Yeah. yeah, white goods did not exist. Men did not have machines that they could just play, like my husband has a 3D printer. He would not have had that. <laughs> <laughs> It was the first thing, and it oh, was specifically marketed at women. And so one of the problems that they encountered was that lots of people were like, a woman can't operate a machine. Like, this is shortly after the Industrial Revolution, and, you know, that was a man's thing, very much so. And, um, but suddenly, there's a machine that's made to be used by women. And so Singer used to do these demonstrations in theatres. He was like, he had an, an amdrum streak which is funny yeah. um, but he used to do these demonstrations and with women going and, but I can do it like I can work it out because people thought that women were too incompetent <laughs> to operate a machine which I find hilarious because it's like those are complicated machines and we work them every day we work them out um, but yeah it's a very interesting shift in like mm. what we sell into women specifically and look they can do it and so um there used to be um the singer man apparently which was like an agent like a representative that would come door to door going why don't you get a sewing machine and uh, then there was sewing centers singer sewing centers where um 
people showed you how to use a machine and they just went, look, it's so easy. So similar to what you would get in a machine shop these yeah. days, I guess. But it was really a push to say, you, you can do this. Like, yeah. it seems complicated, but you can do it and you can own a machine. And the next step that was very clever was that he, um, Singer, introduced a higher purchase system. So buying on... Um, what do you call it today? But buy on credit. Buy on credit, yes. So yeah. you put down a deposit and then you pay something every week and mm. eventually you own your machine. That was, it's one of the first oh. of its kind. But of course, because wow. it would have been it's an expensive, expensive thing. Expensive, yeah. Exactly. So genius, because that meant that so many more households could have it. Mm. The thing that made me a bit sad is that, because I thought that's very, very clever, but of course eligible people were women didn't have um, bank accounts, so it was eligible yes. men with good credit. Yeah. So it is still a slice of um, society, but that's a very, though. very interesting story that I went yeah. down. Um, Just for it. In, out of interest, just a little poll. Mm. Um, who grew up? Who had? Did you have a sewing machine in your house? No. Yes, we did. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, so fifty percent. Now, wonder, I'm surprised. And I wonder how many people now have home sewing machines. Because I reckon it mm. might be fewer. I I feel like I meet. Them. I think you're right. A lot of mm. people do, but I meet a lot of people that don't really sew. But then when I talk to them about what, they, oh, what well, I, I do, sewing like, machine. oh, my mum was always sewing. Oh, yeah. like, there was someone at home sewing. I had one growing up, or maybe they even have one. Or they yeah. make curtains one, and and they've never, never really. Picked picked up or I think. Oh, I think it's more than you think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Somewhere and also, do you know, they might be passed down. Because I've got exactly. friends that have a sewing machine, have never used exactly. it. And it was like, oh, this was my mum's, or they didn't want to throw it away. Yeah, yeah. because they yeah. um, And interestingly, my library. So I don't know if anyone else's library started it doing. It's like a library of things. Yes, I love these. You, yeah, so so much. So um, the Leytonstone one's just opened this week, and it is part of the library. And it's like you go in, and it's like. Um, instead of shelves of books on, it's like cupboards mm. that are locked, and you can basically borrow items. Oh. And I noticed on the list of items is a sewing machine. That yeah. is yeah. such a good idea! You can use things like saws and drills. That's it, and you do DIY. Yeah, yeah. 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 expensive things really that good. actually. You, you just you, went for a weekend. Exactly, yeah. you don't want, you won't That's have any so cool. time. Such yeah. a good idea. Yeah. And I, I saw that the sewing machine was on it and I was like, well, yeah, that's perfect because if you wanted to get into sewing, mm. that is the big expensive like thing that, that you might yeah. not. And I like it because it encourages just like, not necessarily learning to sew and making a whole wardrobe, yes. but just a little bit of Trying. trying. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just take it for the weekend, take, take up, up a hem. hem. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Make you don't have to commit to this whole yeah, lifestyle. Like that. Yeah, You can just dip in and out. Oh, I love yeah. that. But yeah. yeah. Borrowing. So anybody, sorry, I forget that we're all together, but um, just out of interest, who grew up with a sewing yeah. machine at home, do you have, like, well, obviously most people would have one, who are listening who are to this. Who are listening to <laughs> If you sure. don't, yeah. start. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, interesting though, isn't yeah. it? Like, Very. I was wondering, when you were saying about them, obviously this is the first time you're bringing a sewing machine into people's homes. Mm -hmm. What we, We're talking, what, 1850s? 1850s, yeah. How that then changed... What people's relationships with their clothes? Were they buying clothes before? Oh, yeah. And, and they were like, hey, I've so got my wife at home now it's making quite things. quite different or... across the classes. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Say. So, it, there was, if you were like, uh, I'd say upper middle class, you would probably um, have dressmakers anyway. But mm. what happened is that households. So well-to-do households would buy a sewing machine and bring in the dressmaker oh. who would use their machine. Oh. But this was a little bit tricky in terms of fairness because they were like, well, you have a machine now so you can do it quicker. So yes. they expected more, more. from they the dressmaker. Pay less. less, expect more, which is a little oh. bit tricky in that sense. If you were kind of lower middle class, um, that's, I think that was the big revolution. Um, mm. So because you would have made all the clothes for your household, so your children, your husband and yourself, you would have made them by hand, yeah. hours and hours and hours. Suddenly you have a machine that, that speeds up that mm. job. I can't even imagine making a whole garment by hand. <laughs> no. Also, there was, I found all these charts where it said how long it took to make a shirt, a man's shirt by hand compared to a machine. And I was like, it takes me way longer than both. Are you joking? Do you know what I mean? It's like 15 hours. I don't think 
them. You should stop hand selling them. Yes, you do. <laughs> One day to make maybe a simple top, yeah, or just to, to make something mm. entirely by hand to like really. D- I'll skip that exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I feel like it yeah, might connect you. You hate hand sewing though, don't you? you? Passion, I do love a bit of hand sewing. Like there you go. You guys, good. You yeah. Yeah. You can't. I'll film. I'll film. I love it. I'm like like watching it. Another level of satisfaction. Yeah. Maybe that should be a new charity event instead of our sort of. <laughs> we donated one napkin. One napkin. How long? <laughs> 24 hour <laughs> Just pass it around 20 people, everyone adds. Like. No, but there's, um, there are beautiful sewing things, aren't there? Yeah, like, they're they're definitely, definitely, definitely. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. No, Just no. not for me. <laughs> no. um, so I was wondering um, if it's changed. Now, I think people's hand sewing back then would be much better than my hand sewing. <laughs> and mine. But sort of like the durability of the clothes they were making. Did it, if it made the clothes more durable because yeah. they were made by machine, it yeah. means then you're replacing them less, you're mending That's them less. That's true. Oh, I wonder. There's kind of a whole benefit that side yeah, as maybe. well. Yeah, maybe. In that it would be yeah. this huge investment, but maybe you'd get so much more out of it in the long run as well. That makes not sense. Not sure, obviously. I wonder. Not sure. I wonder. But it's a huge gear change, isn't it? Yeah. Such a gear change. And also for um, so lower um, households, <laughs> let's say, <laughs> basically, the um, it meant that if you could learn how to sew, you could contribute, as a woman, you could contribute yes. to the household mm. income. That was a big change. Mm. But Is that working from home? From home, home basically. Yeah, it was homework. And it was was it called like piecework or something? Where you like taking um, people's clothing to like mend or take it or nice piece of work. But um, the yes, you could you could make a living, but of course that's all dependent on whether you could get the credit to okay. buy the machine. And once you got it, if you were dressmaking for someone, maybe there was the whole idea of like, oh, you've got a machine, I can pay you less. Yeah. So it's all very windy, windy, um, <laughs> but I found a very, very good article that I'm going to link to um, below because it's called something like Sewing Machine um, Liberation or Drudgery for Women. So it's, oh, yeah, it's yeah. out like weighing out all those things, but it is, to me, the most interesting thing that I found out was that it was the first machine introduced into a home yeah. and it was aimed at women. Women targeting women and do you know you might not but do you know if the machine then was something that we would recognize obviously as a mechanical so the first machine first one now. was just a mechanical one with a wheel Those so were like the, the classic ones. old black singers yes and also something singer did very clever was make the make them beautiful objects because yes. it was this industrial yeah. thing yeah. but they wanted it marketed at women so mm. they had all these um decorations on it if you see an old one it's usually like black with gold, with gold on, yeah beautiful so it was a, a thing of beauty to to have in the home and um then they started uh doing the pedal ones which were great still mechanical but pedal ones you might have seen an old yeah. singer one so it looks like a table with a machine on top and then there's one big pedal that you push with both feet yeah. really funny fact is that they did amazingly in the states and in, in britain it took a bit longer because they thought it was unladylike and dangerous for the ankles which i love <laughs> 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 dangerous. the unladylikeness i think is like seeing these sexy oh, little feet moving I think that's what it was. Wow. So funny. But it was that was a huge revolution. I don't know why it took so long to catch on here because you now have you three two hands. hands. You yeah. your hands. Yeah. Before it was one hand to guide, one hand to roll, to <laughs> to turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um so then that and then I think from what I saw it was not until the nineteen twenties that electrical machines mm. started. Mm-hmm. But they went through a whole um, very variety of ways to power the machine. There was a steam sewing machine at one point, oh which goodness. I think is hilarious. So lots of trying to make this thing so that the body sewing didn't have to yeah. produce yeah. the movement. Yeah. We obviously saw how important it was. Well, yeah, yeah. A they went to improve in yeah. it constantly. Yeah. Yes, because they were selling a lot. It was a hit. It was a really, hit. Was a hit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it is very interesting whether it was yeah for to help with dressmaking within the home or do a little bit of 
homeworking. Yeah. Um, lots of different angles to it, but definitely a hit. And one of the like most clever marketing plans, I'd say, from uh, back in the day, because they went like, okay, it's women, it's um, oh, they did. Oh, this is fantastic. Like, they basically had influencers. <laughs> so, Singer would give half price machines to respectable women in the town, like the pastor's wife and things like that. Oh. So, they would then talk to their friends and their community. It's literally an influencer. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fascinating, honestly. Like, look up the history of Singer and Co. Um, Singer and Company, it was called. But, um, yeah. Great. Oh, really interesting. Awesome. Very good. And some parallels with today's yeah. way of selling sewing machines, I'd say. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe your yeah. thing will continue on. It is a little bit because I've gone further back in time Ooh. and looked at sort of the first time um, or first example I could find where women could make money from mm, sewing. Nice. So, like business yes. and sewing. And obviously, they're still hand sewing then because I have gone right back. I've got my notes because <gasps> I have not learned this as well as I <laughs> um, It is in 19, six, not 19, 1675 what? France. Oh, okay. Whoa! Back with Louis the 14th. Very nice. Thank okay. you. <laughs> we'll tell you the X15. We'll yeah. tell you picturing, it, picturing him, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, And prior to Louis making this big change, only men could make money from sewing. What? They were tailors and they were very protected. And I think quite the a lot guild. of things in, exactly, mm. there were guilds. So there were guilds for everything. Yeah. The, and you had to be part of a guild to be yeah. an actor, to be a tradesman, blah, blah, blah. There was no guilds for Same women. in Italy. So, no, zero. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So women could sneakily make money from lots of different things, yeah, but, but the guilds like... would come after them. The men in these guilds would like trash their shops. Oh would steal their business what? and it would be legally backed up because these women have no protection um so obviously louis the 14th we're talking like top 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 society well, yeah. he had his guild of tailors they came in and did everything for him yeah but he was the first person to create a guild of seamstresses wow which Not I don't picture him as a very generous um, no, kind well, man, no. so I'm surprised. I think that's what I read <laughs> is that it was a decision that worked in women's favour because then it meant that women had this could have this protected status and this was like an elite group of wow. people so it wasn't everyone it was like yeah. I think in the first year there was four women in right, it. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> tiny women but it's yeah, set an example. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the guild! <laughs> but also I, from what I've read, it was also him go, looking at the workforce and saying we can monetize these women. Oh, there you go. So like really singer good. going, let's do something for it's women, but also let's get money exactly. for Yeah. <laughs> I would guarantee Mr. Yes. Singer wasn't like woman's right no. advocate. He, um, by the time he died, he had uh, fathered 24 children from okay, different so wives and mistresses <laughs> all over the world. Really? Wow. He was a saucy well, one. <laughs> <It's just> a, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what changes industry. Yeah, yeah exactly. Actually, yeah. And that's what forces everything forward. Yes. Mm. So, that's so good. Yeah, previously, all these women that were kind of operating undercover oh were <laughs> getting their hand slaps, were having their fines stolen. Oh. At the same time, um, tailors, I think we mentioned before we started filming, that mm. tailors would often take on work, have their missus do the work. And they and then the blokes would pocket the money or have some local seamstress do yeah. the work and not pay them properly <gasps> or pay if pay them at all. Just yeah, I read that a lot of that happened with finishing, so like buttonholes, which do you know how oh long it God. takes to sew a buttonhole yeah. by hand. And I would pay <laughs> someone else to do my yeah. buttonholes. Yeah. But they'd just take the work home and the the their wife would work on it unpaid. Very annoying. That's it. But then it sort of changed a little bit the fashions as well because the blokes, the tailors, um, <laughs> were obviously creating this amazing, if you think of like 1600s French dress, very structured, yes. all these um, fancy gentlemen at court with yeah. like just ornate, crazy, absolutely beautiful. Um, and the women started, the women in this guild started to make clothes that 
thought about people's lifestyles a little oh my bit more. God. Practicality. And almost like the thing we still go, oh my God, has it got pockets? Yeah. Because women's clothes don't have pockets. Yeah. Um, and that was still happening in the 1600s. And one of the big things they did was they made a sort of dressing gown. And the revolution of this gown was that it didn't have a waist stay in it. So just think before that, you'd be like, oh, I'll put on my dressing gown for a cosy Sunday, and it would still have some sort of corseting <laughs> oh, in it. Oh, oh, oh. And they just thought, hang on a second. Remove. Oh, it was from, um, hang on, I've got it written down. I think it came from Louis' wife. Oh. Yes, because she had quite a tricky pregnancy and was uncomfortable all the time. Oh, you... And she worked yeah. closely with this uh, guild of seamstresses. Wow. And they were like, hey, let's not constrict you in a tiny corset. Maybe that will help. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe let's try this. Yeah. But obviously being like the king's wife, um, she could ask for something and they could do it. They could so do it. And they were like, yes, we understand your wow. situation. We understand how you want to live. I mean, all of this, we're still talking like top, top, top levels Well, of yeah, society. but maybe had she asked them, the male tailor, they would have been like, what? I'm yeah, what? yeah, because the male tails, tailors continued to make fancy, fancy restricting garments yeah. all yeah. look beautiful. They, they and the theme, female <laughs> tailors and instances <laughs> just slowly made... I mean, we're not talking loose fit clothes. No, no, we're no, talking no. like just marginally digging into your pregnancy. Yeah, like, just yeah. being a little bit more aware of what people might want to wear or how they could make changes that fitted in particularly women's lifestyles. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it now, if you think one in this article that we can link as well, um, it had a reference to like oh, I can't remember his name now, like quite a famous like hip hop um, star who wore a gorgeous sort of loose gown and if you think about a loose gown in a gorgeous fabric mm. looks so much more luxurious mm. and so much more mm. elegant than something that's all glitz and glam mm. and that's apparently where that kind of loose wearing loose clothing but expensive fabrics oh, came that about from that luxury that's gorgeous i know and all the tailors kept fighting against it but it filtered down into french fashion and then and then this idea of having the guild of seamstresses um, filtered across Europe oh, quite quickly. Mm, so that's it's one of those so things cool. where you think of like France as like the powerhouse of fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had that kind of like History. example to set. That but it was the really first cool. time that women had a bit of protection and Loud could make a bit of money yes. from this domestic yes. skill. But it's almost like, although it's so positive, cool. as any change is positive, mm. there's this kind We've of like... have been allowed to Yeah, I know. Patch, guys, go, oh, okay. Hit the little crumbs mm -hmm. and say, here you come, be grateful. Yeah, <laughs> so, oh, I think mean, that's the whole, the whole of it. Yeah. Yeah, is <laughs> female, yeah. It's tricky yeah. to it's say so the least. tricky. And I think often, like, with the fact that they're called seamstresses rather than they were they the weren't tailors. 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 I think, yeah. like, and I think, like, through history, women, like, our, the way that we sort of sew, it seems to sort of, um, it's under this sort of, like, crafting yeah. umbrella. And it's yeah. like kind of, I don't know, it feels a bit, I don't know, it could be, it's like it's dumbing it down or yeah, it's not. I think it's fair to say that we're sometimes in this circle, we are referred to as kind of cute. This yeah. business is cute and nice and isn't that sweet. Yeah. And oh. actually it is equal to any business, any business. Yeah. in any industry to like the boys next door that do things that I don't understand. Like what they, they, do. Do. <laughs> no, they, they don't know. understand. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Sometimes we're in an office building where we've got different yeah. companies side by side. Um, and uh, yeah. So. And uh, yeah, I don't know when that mm. um, idea about sewing just being cute, mm. rather than like such a valid skill mm. yeah. that other people, some people can't do, as yeah. in the way that we and can't do so that some people can't. The, the artistry in it as well, because I don't know if you've had this, or probably people will have had this as well, but like if you've um, chatted to someone new and they ask you what you do, and mm -hmm. I might talk about sewing, they're like, ah, oh, do you know what, I've got some curtains yeah, at home, yeah, yeah. could you take those up, and you're like, Mm, absolutely not. It's not obviously that. a kid. It's like, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh I don't even do that with my. I don't take my own curtains off. I think that's yeah. why I love the term <laughs> sewist rather than sewer because it's sewing artist. Yeah, so I love that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a portmanteau. So that's 
I really yeah. cling to that. It's like, oh, no, I it's make. It's like, I make. It's make wearing amazing love, thank you. orange corduroy dresses. Exactly. Big <laughs> sleeves. So I don't take up curtains. <laughs> and incredible scrunchies. Can you show the people your. Oh, no, this is my YouTube scrunchie. Sorry. It's <laughs> I'm obsessed. But anyway, yeah, I think, yeah, there is that divide. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Which is interesting, and it sounds like it was there from the start, basically. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But you know, at the very, very, very start, to be able to sew a garment from two cow hides or whatever they did yeah. in yeah. prehistoric times, that would have saved, you know, saved lives. Saved lives. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. it's absolutely essential. And um, yeah, but maybe we can move on to. Go forward, yeah, in time. Yeah, go forward in time yeah, yeah. to when actually making clothes became very easy and buying clothes off the rack became yeah. much more accessible, which it just wasn't an option in the times sure. that we're talking about. Yeah. There was no H&M. <laughs> there was no <laughs> um, Well, so I was in my sort of research, I was just thinking of myself really. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I grew up in like the noughties and I was just thinking like how fashion, same as like for everyone's generation, it was an expression of what, who you are and mm -hmm. your identity. So everyone's sort of like, you go through like your, your grungy stage. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and back home, um, it, it was, High Street was still, I mean, we'd only just, I think the internet arrived in my life in like same. 1997. Yeah. I first, like, <laughs> saw it, I was like, oh, what is Magic. it? <laughs> But it's like there's no like you wouldn't it was on wasn't on your phone, you weren't buying no. online as you no. do now. I mean I think e commerce was not a thing. No, no. I think everyone's still fairly nervous about mm. using it's your like cards. A scam at the start. I mean it, we didn't even have chip and pin at this no. point. No. So the idea of like just like I think everyone's yeah. still cash, most of it. Yeah. I remember working I used to work checks. in a <laughs> high street retail store. Uh -huh. Um and people were still using checks and yes. cash. That was pretty mm. much how everyone paid stuff. And it was this, yeah, I'd go and hang out on the high street on a Saturday with my friends and you'd go and buy a nice top to wear out that evening. And fashion was very much like, and I think that is fast fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that was, it's not as fast as it is now. No, um, true. Yeah, because now, like, ordering online from certain companies, it is even faster because it's like, yeah. yeah. Instead, and the returning policies and all of that, I think that's the next level. Mm. But yeah, there was a thing of like, what am I doing this weekend? And like, you'd probably, I would probably yeah. buy, you know, something. Yeah, but clothes were yeah. affordable. Yeah, they were. Right? I mean, yeah. it was still like a treat, wasn't it? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But you'd be able to buy a top. So were you sewing at the time as well? No, but I'd learned to sew so at school, but we, mm. we didn't we didn't actually like sew so like garments. We never um, looked like right. patterns. Mm. It was more like textiles was more like the art like an art subject. Okay. Okay. So it would be like different. Like for us it was home economics. Mm. It yeah. wasn't so sew uh, curtains. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, yeah, like but we did things like silk painting and applique wow. and machine embroidery mm. and looked at techniques wow. rather than creating that right. garment. Rather than like that you're in wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. like how to sew like yeah, any sort of like pattern cutting techniques or making things to garments to fit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with that. Which is so much more I so mean much more so much well, more yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also Unless you're gonna go, yeah. Unless you're gonna go down the art route, it would be more life skills. That's yeah. true. Just day to day, it would actually be more useful yeah. to know. And I know that's led by um, the exam boards, really, because you're sort of teaching for different qualifications. Mm. And yes. So um, I was a teacher before I was working here, and up until those days, like most of the exam boards, like the NXL and the OCR, which are the ones that are most um, prominent in the UK. Like the textiles and um, graphics and stuff were more art. It was like art textiles. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so that was what they were following. That makes sense. Uh, it makes me a bit sad that we're then, are we losing but, those skills? Yeah. It does seem to be like a misunderstanding of the subject mm. itself, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. But then that's the same as like um, IT, because when that started yeah. in schools, it was like, how do you use PowerPoint, how do you use Excel? And then they could yeah. realize, I remember. And yeah, yeah. Click and they quickly realized. <laughs> Oh no, and that's why other countries have obviously overtaken us so much with like. Uh, yeah. yeah, they were coding when I was adding a little man. Exactly, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, but maybe there needs to be a movement back to like try and bring the sort of how you 
great garments and sewing back into it. Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah. Sorry, I think back to I've, like when I was a teenager, had I known how to sew, mm. that would have changed mm. my life. Did I you just not do any sewing at nothing, school? Nothing, never. Was no, it offered? You never didn't choose no, no, it no, wasn't it wasn't offered at all. In That's my school, school in Italy anyway. I don't think any of my friends ever did that. It just wasn't there. But um, the, yeah, had I known how to sew, like all I did was uh, buy second hand clothes and vintage trawling Did and you ever... I just wanted it to look different all the time yeah, yeah. and I could have, oh my god, the way I would have looked in my <laughs> teenage years, I don't know how to sew, it would have been incredible. Very different from now, it was, it was a very hippie vibe, <laughs> lots of flares, lots of things with beads on and headscarves but it would have been, ah. <laughs> yeah. But then sometimes I feel like you come to things at the right time, like, at the yeah, right yeah, time, yeah, 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 you might have rejected it somehow. I would have gone off it by it. now. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's true. true. I think, you know, these that's things sometimes. True. Yeah. You come to them at the right time. Very yeah. true. But I think, um, yeah, I think there's always been, um, well, a, in the 90s, for example, in the 90s, I feel like sewing would have been seen as not the cool thing yes. to do because you can yeah. go to the high street and get mm -hmm. the latest fashion and, also, and there weren't patterns available as there are now no. but, but it's also and, like... and the same as now it's hard to make it work for younger people as well because you can just go and buy really so like, easy close yeah like, for much cheaper whereas so why would you spend the time so maybe once you're a little bit older and you're looking for something to like a hobby or something to um, to kind of have as an outlet, a creative yes, outlet, yeah. and yeah. then you realise that you can also make really cool clothes mm. that look fashionable and on trend if you want to, or classic and yeah. Yeah. forever. But I think yeah, it was there's like a fight between cool and uncool. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when we were younger, there wasn't. An awareness of fast fashion being as bad as it no, is. No, that's so true. So yes. your five pound top from New Look. Great result. Have, might yes. not wear it more than once. Yeah, true, true. Do true. I care? Whereas it's, hopefully, I think we were saying earlier, like yeah. generations now, the generation below us are so much more yeah. aware. Sorry, to my marine props, you. No, 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 no. I was going to say. So you two, you said that your mum's sewed. You had so many yeah. at home, and so at this time when you were growing up, were your mum sewing? How mm. did they, How did you? Think about that. Like, were they sewing for you? She did when we were younger. Yeah. She made things, um, but not when we were older so much. Um, you My probably mom... wouldn't have wanted her to. No, you know, know. Know. Yeah. 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 She made excellent uh, fancy dress costumes. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. That's a, uh, that's a great skill. Like, some seriously good photos. Yeah. Um, and but I also when I was quite young our uh, gran lived with us oh. and she did a lot she made most of her own clothes so she didn't really? sew much at the time but her wardrobe was top notch That's and so i feel cool. like even though because my mum can sew and yeah, she will yeah. sew and she does like sewing but she won't she's not passionate not yeah she won't sit and make something at the weekend mm. even though she could mum <laughs> <laughs> you're watching <laughs> Um, it is. I think well, we were almost talking about it being something that skipped a generation yes, as well. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So, so did so. your grandma? Yeah. My grandma sewed. Um, as far as I know, I actually never asked her about it directly. But as far as I know, she didn't enjoy it. But it oh, was like really? Um, yeah, it you was like a, do. you do it like yeah. Just, it was you like, had to know how to do it. It was a make do and situation, yes. and like she could. So she had I actually inherited like her machine, a lot of stuff. Oh. She had a lot of stuff. I've got it now, which is great. But I don't think she loved it at all. No. But I think she could do that's it. That's interesting, yeah. isn't it? And then my mum was just definitely not no. at all interested Same in it. So I think mom. that's, again, yeah. like skipping a generation. Yeah. Mm. And see that but then if it's so linked to necessity rather than sort of joy and passion, not it, then it's not attached to it's yeah. a chore yeah. rather that's than. That's so true. Yeah. yeah. That's very true. So my mum, so my grandma definitely, um, she's still with us. But um, she, not in my lifetime, but she used to make clothes for herself and for her children. Um, I only saw her embroidering beautifully, but not um, not making clothes. But apparently she did a lot with her sisters. Like they used to get patterns and cut them out together and really oh, cute. I would have loved to see that. <laughs> yeah. um, but my mum, for example, never, I don't know if she can use a sewing machine, but she did know how to sew by hand. So some. Mm. Halloween costumes and things like yeah. that and um, I remember her um, hand sewing some fringing on like a shift dress to make a flapper dress for example oh, like really cool. Cool. Really, cool really really cool so she quite creative must be quite creative very creative but I think 
the idea of making clothes to actually wear day to day would have felt not cool or not mm. okay. not her thing. Mm. And I think that's probably because when she was growing up, my grandma was making mm. clothes and stuff like that. So probably there's it's that quite clash. Yeah. 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 Um, but it is interesting the generation thing, and yeah, I so my grandma was an expert in this kind of um, hobby, but I never knew that growing up really. Mm. So I found out later on. I've got some of her notebooks with oh, like wow. annotated about patterns and things like that. It's so really nice. cute, really beautiful. Um, but I didn't grow up with that. If that makes yes. sense, like I know that that's in the um in, your in the blood, blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but i did it was we home. were in two different yeah. countries so yeah. you know i just didn't have that connection but something mm. something's happened <laughs> um but yeah it is it is interesting I, I feel like it's gone i mean i don't think that sewing is necessarily universally seen as cool right now <laughs> but i feel like when i tell someone that mm. i'm just meeting yeah. that i sew my own clothes had it been maybe 20 years ago, mm. they would be like, what? Yeah. Why? Why can't you afford to go to Topshop or whatever? Yeah. Well, I think Whereas it's, now it's like, yeah. oh. I think it's much more closely associated now with trendy things like sustainable fashion yes. and That's repairing really stuff and like customising mm. stuff and it's it's kind of piggybacked onto that. That is it? such it's a good point. Yeah. yeah. If you think of like it. something you might do with your friends now might be you might go to a pottery class. Mm. So yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yes. Crafting is like crafting yeah. is good if for the mind. If you think about TV yeah. shows like yeah. 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 pottery, pottery throwing throw down, down. Yeah. even yeah. baking yeah. 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 Like, it's all real popular culture at the minute isn't it and like doing stuff at home. Yeah, mm. I'm all going to say, bring it back round, all quite linked to stuff that women would be doing at home anyway. Anyway, yeah. that's interesting. And are yeah. now seen as luxury things. Because mm. this is a bit of a luxury industry in a way, you're doing it by choice. Yes. yes. It's not necessarily yeah, not the cheapest necessity. thing to do. No, no. No. It's a big misconception, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's really <laughs> cheap to sew your own clothes. Yeah. Yeah. There was the um, an advert for the Stinger machine that I found. So funny. This is for later on, but it's the the husband is going, Oh, this house looks terrible <laughs> which is funny in itself. <laughs> and the wife's like, Oh yeah, I wish we could afford better furnishings and he goes, Well, not on my salary. Um, unless a miracle happens, in comes the singer man and shows her to the sewing centre, teaches her like the ladies teach her to sew and then the house is completely transformed and she's like, This only cost eighteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, there is a, a misconception that it's a cheap way. I think it can be. It can, it can be. be. It can be. It can be. Like, the way you saw some fabrics, it could never be cheap. <laughs> this is yeah. it's, If you've watched any of our previous videos, amazement. I get um, fabric apps skipped sometimes. Um, but amazing fabric. There is, yeah. but there is like a lot of fabric in charity shops and vintage mm, fabric exactly. curtains and things. So it can be. You can be clever. However, yeah. also you got to think about it. Is in although you might spend a lot on fabric like you might buy silk for like 30 pound a meter yeah if you're making a beautifully mm. fitted silk pussy bow hand made dress hand that made that would cost you 300 yeah. quid like, but, you well, can't, you but can't. even like i think i was looking up for like whistles and it's like you can't buy that kind yeah. of like a silk shirt no. for less than 120 right yeah in yeah. like the like really nice high range thing. where it's like so actually it's what you value. It depends yes. who you're competing with, because you cannot yes. make a t-shirt for cheaper than you no. can get it in. It's exactly. mm -hmm. just not possible. No, but but do you, the high end stuff you yeah, can exactly. do it. I think yeah. Yeah, I always think that I can make much better clothes than I could afford to buy. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's how I see it. Yeah, yeah. that way. Yeah, but I could afford to buy a shirt, but would it be all nice like this? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> would it be in your would exact, in shade? My exact shade? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's what I think. Yeah. Like, I would, I could not live, I think people might look at me thinking I'm uh, richer than I am on the street because like when I'm walking down the street in my Jessica oh, again yeah. in the house and that's I'm, so luxury. I'm just a rich lady, I'm not. <laughs> all your pink like, yeah. the yeah. pink yeah. my hat, oh my god, yeah, all the coats, all the sorry coats I have, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I feel like a star. <laughs> 
Um, and it's how close make you feel things. as well, yes. isn't yes. it? Mm. Totally. So, yeah. And I've just been thinking even more recent than you were talking, okay. and specifically in the last few years since mm. COVID, which I think is mm. a really interesting watershed moment. Yes. Yes. Has it been yeah. four years? Well, because I. Um, I had Isla and then yeah. we were in lockdown. We can't tell so it's exactly yeah, yeah. four years. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's quite an interesting watershed moment in the history of sewing because um, what we were saying before, like how did you learn to sew, like mm. new generations or maybe at school, but this is suddenly a moment where a lot of people had a lot of time mm. to learn how to do something totally new to them. So many people took up sewing in lockdown, and we hear that all the time, don't we? The sales of machines yeah. like... Partly because, you know, you have this time, you want to learn a new skill, all those reasons. Partly because you actually couldn't really get clothes that easily. <laughs> yeah. like, it's, it's, shipping, it's like a mending thing. That's a good point. Like, yeah. there's a little bit of that for the first time in a long time, being forced to do that. I read a statistic. So, brother did a survey, um, and they they reported that one in five Brits took up sewing during lockdown. That's so That's many. Huge. Apparently, That's yeah. huge. And apparently, more men in the twenty five to thirty four bracket took up sewing than women in the same That's age bracket. That's very interesting. So, as a new thing, maybe. Rather yeah, and I think you definitely like it's very common for men to sew. Now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. All mm-hmm. unusual. Um, and I think it just comes down to like the accessibility of it and like the free resources that there are out there. A lot of people, mm. I think you and I particularly, I'm allowed to say for YouTube. Online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also like, even I was thinking about Instagram, for like the inspiration, yes. Yes. that's free and just like using that. That's very yeah. true. It's just an interesting, interesting new I, route, I suppose. That yeah. statistic has kind of blown my mind. Yeah, it's five, so much. Yeah. Of people. I don't know who they surveyed, I haven't found that out, because if they're surveying their own Customers, yeah, I don't know, like some sort of bias. Sales, like, like no, 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 it was huge. Mm-hmm. I mean, apparently, uh, the sale of sewing machines rose by 155 percent. I mean, they were, yeah, <laughs> they were so I remember this, yeah. That is incredible. That is incredible. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't know if I'm like reading too much into it, but it's a time when we were all forced to stay at home, and actually, over the years that's what women have had to do because they've they haven't been the ones going out I'm talking like probably much further in the past mm. but they haven't been the ones that are going out to day to day for a job they're the ones it's a skill it's a really like house based skill for yeah. one yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. and maybe if it wasn't there would have been more uptake across men and women mm. yeah that's in, true actually pre this pre yes. Yes. yeah see what you our mean. sort of yeah, time yeah. Yeah. Very, it's just, it's, I guess this is more like the, it's kind of coming apart from the domesticity of it. Yes. It's coming apart from it being like something akin to, yeah, a, yeah, a chore yeah. to cooking the dinner. Yeah. It's, it's more like recognition. An and it's it's actually and what's perfect to do at home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I've had, I've been quite frustrated with it as a hobby sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because yeah. I feel like, especially since um, I've picked up sewing a lot more, um, since the kids have been younger, and which has been good because I can do it at home mm. and when they're around. But then it's also quite frustrating because sometimes I just want to get on with my hobby uninterrupted. Mm. But because it's at home, yes. oh, there's a chance yeah. to do that. Whereas like men, it seems like men in their thirties, late thirties, all seem to take up cycling. And you're like, why are they doing? It? Oh, I see. You get like five hours out of the house. You can't do it indoors. I see why you've done this. Um, <laughs> Oh, the golf course. You're the golf. Yeah. Why are there? Why is there so many men doing that? You're like, oh, okay, I see. <laughs> 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 Women are knitting and sewing. Yeah. And you fit it in around because your it's life. Like you can do it. Yeah. It's still, still interesting. So Whereas men are like, I'm out. <laughs> um, but yeah, we thought these would be interesting aspects to look at to dip in as we said but please let us know if you have any more um, angles to look at this any more articles any videos that you've found that are interesting around the subject of women and sewing throughout history because um yeah i mean we could genuinely talk for a week about this (laughs) and is there a sewing company that was started by a woman like a sewing machine company all right i was gonna (laughs) say No, a sewing machine company because it was I think, not yeah. at that time. It was all engineers and mechanics, so you couldn't There's be one as a woman, many. unfortunately. Yeah. There's so many like hidden women, isn't there? Oh, all yeah. Well, what I'm all, thinking is, who are the who's, who are the engineers showing the prototype to and going, does this make sense? 
a woman. There must have been women in so, there. Yeah. So no, yeah. Uh, in the very beginning, definitely all men um, yeah. credited. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't know nowadays who's the head of brother, who's the head of Janome. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. On that note, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. International Women's Day. Um, have a great day. Celebrate yes. with sewing or not sewing. Your choice. Your yeah. choice. <laughs> And we'll see you again very soon. Bye! Bye.